Our video is about um, abandoned buildings in our community. I call them building with no guts, meaning like they're just empty. They're just barren places with um, broken windows, spray paintings everywhere. They're just really taking up space and making our city look really ugly. They used to bring tons of money to the city and now it's just places that are run down. Like, it's crazy because you walk down the street and you might not notice since we've been here so long or however long we've been here and this, you can see a abandoned building from almost every corner. We wanted to know more about abandoned buildings in Holyoke, so we made some calls to find an expert. My name is Kate Thibodeau and I'm the city historian for the city of Holyoke. I actually feel like I'm in, I've invested a lot in the city in terms of knowing so much about it and it really is, it holds a really special place in my heart because it's such a unique city. Um, people have a sense of their past just by walking down the street. Absentee landlords, which happens to be a really big issue in the city of Holyoke, um, landlords who buy the building and rent rent it to people who then occupy it but really don't put the money into the building and are very difficult to get a hold of in order to you know fix the situation or bring it up to code it's actually gotten better in terms of people taking responsibility for their buildings um, but there's always room for an improvement especially um, you know where, where downtown comes to mind all right, so this building was actually built in 1892 by George P.B. Alderman, who was a quite a famous architect downtown um, in the city. He actually built City Hall as well. It was built for Victor and Theodore Guillot in 1892, um, and for the most part it served as a hotel and now serves as a quote-unquote business block and usually that means that there are stores on the first level and then either the, the possibility for you know, housing or offices on all the other levels above it. Once any building in the city is on a demolition list, it doesn't mean that it's beyond rescuing. So that being said, if the owner doesn't pay their back taxes and the city takes the building, we then either have to reinvest in making it a viable structure and then selling it or making it, you know, structurally sound and then finding a buyer or putting the money into demoing it. So it's really a lose-lose-lose situation for the city. It was, the Essex House was built in the 1890s for Louis LaFrance. And originally it was the LaFrance Hotel. Most recently before it shut its doors, it was actually an old folks home. Um, and let me do a little bit of, it's actually on the, uh, not, it's, it's an abandoned building, but it's not fully condemned. In fire, fireman lingo, if it's a box, it's okay and safe to go in if there's a fire in it. If there is one slash, one red slash, it's not structurally sound on the inside, so firefighters need to be careful when they're entering the building. And if there's a double slash or an X, it means that firefighters should not go into the inside of the building. A look at the past can really inform the future. I mean, the city has such a beautiful architectural layout and, you know, it was built, it was a planned city. They built it with having industry downtown and now that we don't have industry like we used to, um, it's really about imagination and creativity and positive energy to really try to figure out what we can do with all these buildings. Um, cause you have to rehab them and revitalize them before it's too late. Tons and tons of historic places around Holyoke and this Holyoke goes far away, way back. And you can turn a corner and see the history of Holyoke. You can even, you can even see it on the buildings. You can just tell by how old it is and how long it's been standing. And I, I, I want to be a person that wants to be around to help the community fix these places up.